Innovation is about creativity. It's about the opportunity to shape, to put your thumbprint on something that at the end of the day, that thumbprint makes it different. It makes it better. When I look back on my career, I have to say, first and foremost, there's no substitute for hard work. That's the first ingredient. Second, I'd say, is drive. You have to have drive. You have to have ambition. And then you have to couple that with focus, a singular focus on a vision to do something better, whether that's a product, a service, a process. And I think that's required for, for long-term success. One of the keys to innovation is to maintain your drive, to maintain your passion. And inevitably, you're gonna hit roadblocks. I, I can't tell you how many roadblocks we've hit along the way in building dealer track, where a regulatory issue came up, a customer issue came up. Someone said, you can't do it or you can't do it that way. And I had to regroup. We had to, as a team, come back together and say, well, if we can't do it that way, what way can we do it? And you need to be able to successfully do that time and time and time again, because innovation is a process. It's not a singular event. First and foremost, don't listen to the naysayers. Almost the first thing you ever hear when you come up with a new idea, particularly that's breaking a new paradigm, that's changing the way things are done traditionally, you're gonna be told why that won't work. I can tell you, when I decided to go into the used car business, I don't think there was anyone who thought it was a good idea. I did it because I believed in me, I believed in the concept, but I was careful to also stay open to new ideas along the way and to listen to why people didn't think it was a good idea and then figure out how to solve that. There are components that you wanna hear there that you wanna think about and maybe weave into your strategy or business plan, but don't let the naysayers define what you believe in. If you believe in it, pursue it. A critical success factor to innovation is surrounding yourself with a good team. Hiring good people who are gonna add to that idea, who are gonna embellish it, embrace it, extend it, expand it, is really important. Because ultimately you start with a kernel of an idea, but that has to morph and shape. And that shaping process is very much driven by the team you surround yourself with. A lot of the work that you do at WPI is team-based. I learned to be a participant on a team. I learned to lead a team. I learned how to pick the members of the team. And much of that came from my experience at WPI. I feel like much of my success has been driven not by me individually, but the team that I've surrounded myself with. So to all those who helped me get here, I truly appreciate your help, your support, your guidance. It's a wonderful feeling and I truly appreciate the recognition.